Miss Lisa, and welcome to Storytime. Did you know that the month of February is National Bird Feeding Month? And why do you think it's in February? Well, there's usually a lot of snow in February and it's getting really cold. It's kind of our real winter month and that makes it harder for birds to find food. So all month long, we are celebrating National Bird Feeding Month. There is a special scavenger hunt out in front of the library. If you stop by and pick up an entry form and then go out and try to find the birds that are hidden in the bushes around the front of the library, you could win a prize. And we also have a craft kit for you to make your own pine cone bird feeder so you can help feed the birds during the month of February and through the rest of the winter. So we're gonna celebrate birds today and we're gonna read some books about birds. So today our hello song is gonna be a bird song. Are you ready to say hello? The duck says hello, the duck says hello. Quack, 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 quack. The duck says hello, the chicken says hello, the chicken says hello. Cluck, 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 cluck. The chicken says hello. The rooster says hello. The rooster says hello. Cock a doodle doodle do. The rooster says hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. And as I said, we're reading books about birds. And our first book is Hooray for Birds. And it's written by Lucy Cousins. And the illustrations are just beautiful. They're bright and bold, and I think it'll be a great book for us to read together today. And I wanna thank Candlewick Publishers for letting us share it together today. And the papers on the inside of the book, those are called the end papers, and I really love the end papers in this book because they're so colorful, and they have so many different kinds of birds in them. So I wonder if we're gonna meet some of those birds in this book. Let's see. Hooray for Birds by Lucy Cousins. Can you imagine just for one day, you're a busy bird? Yes, a bird. Hooray. The sun is up. The sky is blue. Wake up and shout. Cock-a-doodle-doo. We already did that cock-a-doodle-doo when the rooster said hello. Say hello there. Flap your wings and you can fly higher and higher up, up in the sky. Hop, hop, hop. Peck, peck, peck. Now swim along and stretch your neck. Swans have long necks. Say hello darling and swoop like a starling. Swoop up, swoop down, swoop round and round. Scratch the ground with your feet. Catch a fly with your beak. Stand very tall on just one leg. That's hard to do. Have you ever tried to stand on one leg like that? We did that together once when we did yoga together, standing on one leg. Say cluck, 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 and lay an egg. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Catch a wriggly snake and stretch out your wings. Open your bank and sing, sing, sing. Tra la la. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Hum, hum, hum. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Birds all make different songs, don't they? Sometimes it's fun to try and figure out which bird is making which song. 
Waddle like a penguin in the snow. Run like an ostrich. Go, go, go. Show off your tail. Puff out your chest. You know what kind of bird that is that makes a beautiful tail? A peacock. Then cuddle up close with mama in your nest. busy bird you've been, the funniest one I've ever seen. You began the day, cock-a-doodle-doo. Now say good night, tweet, tweet, hoo, hoo. Do you know what kind of bird makes that song? It's an owl that you might hear at night. And that's a good way to end the book. I like that one. Parade for birds. I saw a little birdie go hop, hop, hop. I told that little birdie to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say hello, and he wagged his little tail, and away he'd go. I saw a little birdie say hop, hop, hop. I asked that birdie to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do, buddy, wax a little tail, and away he flew. So maybe you can go out and look for some birds when you look out your window. Or maybe you can go for a walk in the woods and try to find different kinds of birds. And we do have a walk in the woods, woods kit that you can pick up at the library too. And maybe you can identify some birds um, by their tracks in the snow or you can see them flying through the sky and we have some guides to help you with that too. So that could be a fun thing to do on a winter day. Or maybe you wanna put out something for them to eat since it's National Bird Feeding Month and we have something to help you do that. Or you may already have a bird feeder at home. Here's the bird feeder. Sprinkle some seeds and crumbs. Oh, look, here some birds come. One cardinal one chickadee, one junco, one jay. I have four friends here today. Cardinal, chickadee, junco, jay. I have four bird friends here today. What kind of birds might you see? They come to your bird feeder. Those are all birds that we have around here. We have cardinals and we have chickadees and we have juncos and we have jays. And if you do our scavenger hunt, you might meet some of those birds. And here's some other birds in a wonderful book that I really enjoy by Kevin Hankins called Birds. And I want to thank HarperCollins for letting us share this book with you today. Birds by Kevin Hankins. Those spring flowers look nice right around now. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Birds can be yellow or blue or brown or red or even green, I think. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Starlings are kind of like that. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Have you seen some of these birds? I know we have gulls near us. We have owls and goldfinches. This might be a morning dove. I think that's a bluebird, and I think that's some kind of sand turn. Once, I even saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. And then I looked away for just a second, and they were gone. That ever happened to you? If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think, what would the sky 
look like? You were making all those marks, like painting the sky with your tail feathers. You think it would look like that? It might. Something like that. Hmm. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this. Or this. Have you ever looked at clouds and imagined you're seeing a bird? It's kind of fun. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Can you find the bird in the tree, the one that looks like one red leaf left over? Can you see it? That looks like a cardinal. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled, surprise! They all fly away at the same time. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't go home to their nests. I think they go when the storms come. Do they hide in the trees? I wonder. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. Hmm. And you sing? Maybe we should sing a little song. Five little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, fair ones too, but the one little duck with the feather on the back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro, but the one little duck with the feather on his back. He led the others with his quack, 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 quack. He led others with a quack, quack, quack. Back from the river they would come, wibble, wobble, wibble, waddle, ho, hum, hum. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with his quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. That was one of my favorite songs when I used to sing bird songs with my kids. And we have two birds sitting right here. One, two. Two little birds sitting on a gate. One was early, one was late. Fly away early, fly away late. Come back early, come back late. Two little birds sitting in the snow. One was fast, the other was slow. Fly away fast, fly away slow. Come back fast, come back slow. Two little birds sitting on a cloud. One was quiet, the other was loud. Fly away quiet, fly away loud. Come back quiet, come back loud. They're both back sitting on the gate. Two little birds. All right, we are going to uh, Say goodbye for today, but we are going to see our See You Later Alligator song today because we've kind of been doing animals. So let's say a later alligator. And in the meantime, before I see you next time, come by the library, do our bird scavenger hunt, pick up a bird um, feed, bird seed pine cone bird feeder kit, and you can make a bird feeder for your own backyard. Okay, so I hope I see you soon, but for now I'll say see you later. Are you ready? See you later, alligator.
and a wild crocodile. See you later, alligator, and a wild crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Give a hug, ladybug. And take care, polar bear. So take care and I'll see you soon.